Hello, this is Mayor Thomas Masters. As you know, uh, it's our duty to keep you informed that you know that we're all in this together and we're all going to come out together. For those who are still seeking shelter, the Mary McLeod Bethune uh, shelter is closed. It is filled to capacity. However, make your way to Palm Beach Gardens High School. I tell you, we're all working together. Today, uh, our city manager is here, our police chief is here, our fire chief is here. Our city manager has put together an amazing team. We're working around the clock together. It is called teamwork. Thank you. Jonathan Evans, city manager. We wanted to inform the public that the EOC operates on a 24-hour period. We activated the EOC at 11 o'clock on Saturday. Since then, we have deployed the FEMA incident command structure. City operations have been suspended for Monday and Tuesday with the potential of resuming regular operations on Wednesday, depending on the impact the storm gives us. There is uh, some minor debris that we are seeing and some down power lines, so certainly we would cautious uh, the public as they come out during the all clear to be mindful and cognizant of that. We are also experiencing some winds and rains that are taking place now, so certainly making sure that you shelter in place. One of the most important aspects of a disaster, disaster preparedness, is making sure that you are aware of public communication. We will make sure that we continue to keep our social media, our website, as well as any other mediums that we have to communicate accurate. Also, we certainly would encourage you to utilize the number that is provided on the bottom of the screen to call for services. That is a live person that will pick up the phone and provide some additional information. Please note that once vehicles get, once we get sustained winds of 35 to 45 miles an hour, public safety vehicles will be off the road. So it's incumbent upon you to make sure that you take the appropriate actions to shelter in place. One of the things that we are doing is making sure that public safety is aware of what the concerns are, maybe community wide. And so please, if you have any issues, concerns, communicate with us because we are here to provide service. Clarence Williams, police chief. I want to remind our citizens that there is in force a curfew. Uh, the curfew will remain in place until at least 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. Uh, we will keep you updated, but please be mindful of the curfew. We want to thank our residents for complying with the curfew. Countywide, there have been 26 curfew arrests. I am proud to report there have been no curfew arrests in the city of Riviera Beach. The curfew is in place to keep us all safe. Ladies and gentlemen, please comply with the curfew. Your police department is here to serve you. Call us if you need us. Reginald Duran, Fire Chief. I'd like to discuss with you the current conditions that we have here in Rivera Beach. Please keep in mind the weather conditions are evolving continuously. It's a very fluid evaluation. That's why it's so important that you continue to maintain your ability to look social media, look at our media outlets, every resource is available so you can see what's most current in regards to the weather. We are presently dealing still with a Category 4 hurricane. That means winds could exceed 130 miles per hour were you to be near the hurricane. What is positive for us is the fact that hurricane has moved to the west. That doesn't mean that we're out of the clear. Keep in mind the hurricane extends 80 miles from the eye. So if it jogs either way, it could potentially pose significant hazards to us. Presently, we're most concerned with the fact that we have possibilities of tornadoes in our area. As you, some of you are probably aware, we've had some warnings already, probably about three this morning already, and we're certainly going to have more as we continue to migrate through the day. We have yet to see the worst of this very dangerous storm. Please be aware. Currently, we have had three to six inches of rain over the last 24 hours. They anticipate us having another four to, eight inches, four to eight inches of rain over the next 24 hours. What does that mean to us? That means that this wind is likely to take down trees because they're going to be weakened from the root systems. It also means with the continued wind that we're going to have flying debris, that we're going to have other hazards. That's why I'm asking you to stay inside, stay away from windows, use extreme caution 
We're not safe. Remember, I, I want to reiterate, the conditions are going to get worse. We're going to be fine, but they're going to get worse. We just need to continue to work together as we have thus far through this emergency. I ask that you exercise caution within your homes. Keep in mind, as the manager stated, there will come a point where, unfortunately, we will be unable to respond because it will be unsafe for our vehicles to traverse the roads here in the city. So please, be careful in your homes. Be careful of anything that may cause harm to your homes. Some of us may have water intrusion, which may lead to some leaks of, of water in your home. Be careful. Do not slip. Um, be cautious and stay away from windows. I want to reiterate that point. And I just want to reiterate also, we're going to be fine. We're here to support you. Please let us know your needs. Thank you and the chiefs and to our city manager again. I know that this is a day of worship for most, but please stay home. Um, and whatever you need to do with your worship and faithful duties, you please do them at home. Please stay off the streets and please understand that the curfew is for your safety. Again, the number at the bottom is our emergency number. However, in addition to that, if you want to talk to the mayor directly, you can go and download the mayor's app, Mayor Masters, the Play Store or App Store. You can get a message to me directly, and I will be giving you messages directly as we continue uh, this hurricane warning, hurricane watch. Remember, we're in it together, but we're all going to come out together. Thank you. Once again, the hurricane hotline number for the city of Riviera Beach is 561 eight four zero zero one one one